Buying a used car or new car these days in the U.S. comes with a sticker shock for many people. For those who finance, it's not unusual to see more than a thousand dollars a month for an auto loan. Inflation and high interest rates are a tough combination. Too high, too high. All of them, they're just too high. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong car, but I like cars like this. This is like my third Kia. I really like it. I have the Sportage and I've always liked it. I leased it and it's a, it was a good deal at the time when I list, leased, but they have gone up so much now that it's unaffordable almost now to get a buy a car. Tuesday morning I dropped the car off here. Okay. Emma Brooks is looking for options. Mm -hmm. She has a few more months before having to return her leased car. And you all have never been nothing but good to me. U.S. consumers who borrowed money from the banks to buy a car are on the hook for record loan payments. The average monthly payment for a new car here in the U.S. is almost $730 a month. That's up 24% from last year, according to the credit rating agency Experian. Mario Benedetti is a principal and owner of several car dealerships in South Florida. He says one of the reasons for higher prices is the lack of rebates from the car makers. So the incentives from the manufacturers are gone, because why are they going to create incentives if the car's already been sold? For used cars, the average interest rate was above 11 percent this past September. Another worrisome trend for the car and banking industry is a rising number of Americans falling behind on car payments. Economists attribute this higher delinquency rate to the end of pandemic-related government stimulus checks. Others think it's a matter of fiscal discipline. If you get into buying a car that you cannot afford, if you're buying a house that you cannot afford, if you're buying a boat that you cannot afford, it's going to get cut to you very quick. Benedetti's car dealerships continue to do well, with some blaming a deficient public transportation system. Inflation and slower economic growth in 2024 will likely continue to create challenges for the U.S. consumer and the car loan industry. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.